Well, the Vineyard Community Centre started a couple of years ago when the original people who uh, looked after this basement property suddenly vacated and the Lord gave us a, a vision to continue the work but also to extend it. And he gave us a vision, I think, to do it in three areas. One is a, a crisis intervention, a place of refuge for people who are in crisis in the morning. So homeless people, uh, people who are suffering in some way, people who are in poverty. Um, but also we uh, felt that we should do something about social inclusion. And so we have a, a coffee bar, which is a, a regular coffee bar to involve the community, to help people mix together and help one another. And we also know in this area of Richmond, there's absolutely no provision for young people. So in the evening we have a youth cafe, a drop-in, live music. What we didn't realise was just quite how widely the community would take hold of it. And uh, so the work is not just towards the target people. It's towards those who are volunteering, good-hearted people from the area, uh, mums who come and volunteer, uh, all sorts of people, supported volunteers. And also, lastly, it's been an encouragement to the civic authorities, you know, the councillors, the MP, the police. Uh, they see that this is meeting a need. Um, more recently, the food bank has opened up from here. We're giving out a tonne of food a month. And, and the charity shop has some wonderful volunteers. Uh, it supports us to maybe about £20,000 a year. And people are continually donating good quality clothes, bric-a-brac, and the volunteers that work in the shop just love it because they know that the efforts that they're doing go directly to support the work that's on the premises here. I was made homeless last June and uh, I found out about the vineyard and I started coming to the vineyard and uh, I didn't even have a sleeping bag or anything when I, you know, when I first was made homeless and uh, Desiree, the lovely lady that runs the vineyard, sorted me out a sleeping bag and some clothes and stuff. One day when you, you all, I don't know whether you remember, you was all doing the, the prayer group and uh, you called me over and you, 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 you said you'd pray for me and everything and it was like a couple of days later I felt things actually changing and things actually got better. I didn't at all know that you organised anything at all for people um, in my circumstance. I had my car so I sat in my car often at night if I couldn't sleep at the couch of somebody's house. But then um, I discovered uh, this, this very nice place where people received uh, everybody so well who had uh, difficult circumstances. I suppose the rewarding thing is experiencing people who are in adversity for whatever reason, that they still have the kind of courage and faith and cheerfulness to meet every day as it comes. And it's just nice to help them. But it's, I don't feel as I'm helping them, really. I feel as I'm meeting old friends and meeting new ones. I think the hope is that they will feel like there um, are no barriers, where they might have experienced barriers out there by society, that we will not um, see them in any different way other than just taking them for who they are and loving them for who they are and um, hopefully they will feel some of that love just through a cup of tea, toast, an offer of clothing, just someone to sit down and have a chat to them. I think, yeah, that just through the simple serving really they will feel like they are worth something.